Hello to all of you. Myself Meghna Sharma will be teaching maths of grade eight, chapter eleven, mensuration. Mensuration means the measurement of earth. Now, when we are finding the measurement of earth, how through perimeter and area. Today we will learn how to find the perimeter and area of plane figures. First is perimeter. Length of a boundary of a simple closed figure is called perimeter. And how we will find out the perimeter of any figure? That is sum of all sides area. The measure of a region enclosed in a simple closed curve that is called area. How much? space that object occupied through that we will find the area rectangle rectangle has four sides and opposite sides are equal as you all know when we have to find the perimeter of rectangle the formula of it is 2 multiplied by l plus b what is l l is the length of the rectangle and b is the breadth of the rectangle and how much that rectangle occupies the space for that we will find the area area of rectangle is equals to l into b that is equals to length into breadth and area will be come in the square units and perimeter will come in the single unit square what is square as you all know square has four sides and all four sides are equal that's why perimeter of square is equals to four into side and here the side i have taken is a so four into a the perimeter of square is equals to four a how much that square occupies the space for that we will find the area area of a square is equals to side squares I have taken A as a side. So the formula is A square. Triangle. Area of triangle is equals to half into base into height. And area of equilateral triangle is equals to root 3 upon 4 into side square. Parallelogram. As you all know, parallelogram is a type of a quadrilateral and opposite sides are equal and parallel. So, while finding the perimeter of parallelogram, that is equals to 2 into sum of 2 adjacent sides. And adjacent sides means continue sides. And they have a common vertex. If two sides have a common vertex, it means they are adjacent sides. So, perimeter of parallelogram is equals to 2 into sum of two adjacent sides. Now, area of a parallelogram is equals to base into corresponding height. Height of the parallelogram. Next is trapezium. As you all know, trapezium is a figure that is only having a one pair of parallel sides only one pair of parallel sides that is called trapezium while finding for perimeter the sum of all sides if i want to find the perimeter of trapezium i have to add all the sides and when we have to find the area of trapezium so what is the formula half into sum of parallel sides into height circle in circle, we are not using the term perimeter. We are using the circumference because circumference is the boundary of the circle. For that, in a circle, we are having through radius, we will draw a circle. So, that's why boundary of a circle is called circumference and the formula is 2 into pi into r. That is equals to 2 pi r. And area of circle is equals to pi r square that is equals to pi into r into r and when diameter is given in the question so how we will find the radius if diameter is given in the question how we will find the radius so 
radius is equals to diameter upon 2 when radius is given we have to find the diameter so that is equals to 2 r diameter is the longest chord of the circle and its toys of radius rhombus as you all know rhombus is also a four sided figure for finding the perimeter of rhombus it means sum of all sides and rhombus all sides are equal that's why we are writing here 4 into side and area of rhombus is equals to half into product of diagonals and what is the diagonal diagonal is a line segment that join the two opposite vertices so area of rhombus is equals to half into product of diagonals product is that answer when we are multiplying the diagonals journal quadrilateral area of journal quadrilateral is equals to half into d into h1 plus h2 d is the diagonal and h1 is the height and h2 is the height when we have to find the area of journal quadrilateral we can draw a one diagonal in a quadrilateral we divide the quadrilateral into two triangles and then we will find the area of two triangles and then we will add it that's why it, the formula will come half into diagonal into h1 plus h2 h1 is height and h2 is the height of another triangle area of irregular polygon irregular means their sides are not equal all sides are different so area of irregular polygon what we will do while finding the area of irregular polygon we can divide into triangles and quadrilaterals when we uh, divide the irregular polygon through diagonal into triangles and quadrilaterals then we will find their triangles and quadrilaterals area and then we will togetherly add it then we will find the area of irregular polygon thank you i hope you all will understand this very nicely thank you